I'm not really sure the 100% sure the correct answer on why somebody would want to, I don't know, pursue a career in riding bulls, but the reason I got started was my dad rode bulls, my brother rode bulls, and, and uh, you know, all of his buddies rode bulls. So growing up, all I knew was, was bull riding. And so you get on there and you get, you get in that sweet spot on a bull, there's, there's no better feeling, you know. So you just kind of got to be a little bit on the edge. You, you kind of got to like to to live your life a little bit on the edge. It it takes a guy that has a has a little bit of a wild side to him. Somebody that likes to push the limits. Somebody who likes to daily challenge yourself. It's a lot of a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of uh, sacrifice. It takes a lot of sacrifice to become any anything successful in life. You know, I mean, you gotta how bad you want to breathe is how bad you gotta want it. You wake up every morning wanting to breathe and stay alive, and that's how bad you gotta want to become successful in any sport, especially this sport, because you can't rely on nobody. It's all on you. If you question yourself and doubt yourself, then you're in the wrong business. You know, this is this is a mental sport, and if you're not mentally there and you doubt and you doubt yourself one little bit, it's it'll be rough for you. Stay positive. Don't quit till your head hits the ground. That's the whole key in this. Get on the horse? Dang straight I got on the horse. I seen you get on the horse. I got on the pony. I seen you get on the horse. Do we have to whisper? Do we have to whisper? Some people may be doing a butterfly if you're young. And we're going this is the way you rodeo and this is the way we're gonna keep it. Wrap it around. As I meet the kick here, if he's coming into my hand, then I'm going to take this part of my chest and I'm going to move it right into. So I'm just going to move forward like this. Now I got my center balance. And as I come back here, then I wait for him and then boom, I'll set my hips. All, you, all you're doing is rolling that rope over, letting him slide down and just kind of keep it a little. Make sure he doesn't get you over the front. You come That's really the only danger. If he comes really up in the back, the guy whose chest is just going to pull you off. You just let go of you. Down. Let go of your rope. he's jumping bad? If he's jumping bad, then what do you do? He said, that. "Just hold on." He said, that. "Don't never get off." Yeah. Don't give up, bud. Don't give up. You're right on the edge. Don't give up. All you gotta do is say, "Okay." Mm. You're right there. But it's gonna be fun. Grin it out. Pinch that butt. You <laughs> <laughs> stay pinching that butt. Young gun bull riding started out as a as a youth bull riding association. We started out from the little kids riding calves and then on up through the steer riding, junior bull riding, and then the older kids, which would be 18 and under, big bull riding. Um, and from the beginning, what we did was we had a little association where they would come and they would ride. Um, I just noticed that, that throughout the whole association, the guys really needed to learn how to ride properly. It wasn't that they didn't have the try, they didn't have the knowledge on how to ride correctly. Schools and camps are a great fundamental, or something great to go to, like the Young Guns bull riding camps and schools, and just something to be a part of and get involved and meet people and start a little family, kind of. And uh, I mean, it's something to take seriously. And I mean, these camps are something to teach kids from the bottom up, just take take baby steps and not just jump from for the first step to the seventh step. You gotta work your way up and like these camps here uh, help a kid start smart and not 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 get themselves hurt. Wanting to be a bull rider, you have to be in shape. You know, it, it, you can't just wake up one day and say, okay, I wanna be a bull rider and then be, you know, overweight and, and out of shape. You know, you have to you have to work at it. It's just like anything else. It, it has to be something that you're willing to wake up and, and work at every day. Sure, you could just go out there and get on a bull and be half-hearted about it, but you'll never get to be successful at it. Lots of lots of core work for working out. You got to really build that core up. To, I mean, running anything. I mean, anything you can do: pull-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, running. I mean, I mean, you got to be in physical shape. You can't. You gotta, being inside's not gonna cut it. You gotta be outside and working hard every day. I mean, getting up, pulling weeds, mowing the grass. You gotta work hard at that. You're gonna work, you're gonna work hard in your bull riding on the weekends. So. And the, the whole, you know, working out, the whole, you know, being dedicated to this sport. 
you have to be dedicated just like football players are and baseball all your professional athletes are dedicated to what they do which requires working out requires you know dedicating yourself to this you know even if it's every day all day however it, whatever it takes I feel like if I'm not strong in my faith I don't have any any business being out there because that to me out there is is my battlefield you know you know bull riding is not who you are it's what you do you know you're a warrior for Christ and and uh, one of his children is to spread his word you know that's what he set us out here to do it and if you're not doing that I don't see any point of being out there doing it the purpose of what we do is to to take these kids while they're young to teach them the correct ropes you know to teach them the right way to get to where they want to be whether it be through uh, through God you know God plays a big part in it um, you know having faith in God and having faith in their self um, the whole reason that that we're into this training and trying to help kids better their self is because whenever I came up, I went through a time in my life where I wanted to go out and be the cowboy and just drink and party and do whatever I wanted to do. And I really want to show kids that, it's, that that's not the route that you want to go. If you want to get to where you need to be, then you know you need to work hard at it and you need to, by living right, you can stay focused on where you want to go.